Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, I know how I like to do it. I already got my cards laid out, so we finna go ahead and get started. Uh, okay, so I got a lot. I got a couple messages out here so far. Um, and somebody said, "Why do I read like that? Why do I read cards like that? Because I'm different. I've been different. I always have been different, and there's nothing wrong with being different, right?" Okay, but um, no matter how I read my cards, the same miss is going to come out. So whatever miss I got, I don't care who, what, what reader you look at, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, so moving on. So we got um, Fold, and we got uh, Faithfulness, and we got Pleasure Seekers. So what I feel like is... um. With the uh, you 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 about to find something out about a friend or somebody you, that you thought was your friend. You about to find something out about them with the pleasure seekers and the conversation right here is a lot of gossip going on. These people, well, y'all know what a pleasure seeker is. Somebody who doing things that um you know that that benefits them for the sake of their own pleasure, right? Uh, common saying, gossip and low vibrational people. Um, everything is funny to these people until the table is turned, right? Okay, so with the conversation in it, I feel like it's something you're about to find out uh, about, a, about a group of friends. Or I feel like with this um, two of cups right here, a friend might have told you something about a lover and um, they made you turn your back on this person. You know, to go to calmer waters. But I feel like with the five of ones, there was a lot of conflict, um, defeat, a lot of lying, a lot of manipulating going on with this relationship, a lot of competition. Okay, then we got the priest card right here, and then conversation. So I feel like it's something going on with the uh, with the churches with fake priests or giving out fake prophecies. Okay, and I clarified that, and I got the death card. Okay, and I got judgment, and I got the emperor. And I have the moon card, right? So there's some secrets going around, some secrets involved in the church, or some secrets about fake prophecies, about fake priests. Yeah, some kind of business being ran. Whatever this business is, this business or these people or these priests are under judgment, okay? With the death card, it's all about the end. Uh, or then I got, when I pull this money card and this prison card, so somebody suffering in silence. Um, I feel like somebody sacrificed that. Some of these cards came out. I feel like somebody sacrificed their child or children or something like that. Uh, then I got sorrow right here. And I have child. Okay. And then I have, look, I have the death card. I feel like somebody's about to lose a child. Um, and if so, um, my condolences goes out. And I want to clarify, so I used another deck to see was it like an actual death. Because it's a lot of, I have three death cards out here. Okay. And it's only what, three messages. So I feel like something's definitely over. But I want to clarify this child card and the death card came out again. So yeah, it's an actual death surrounding a child. And somebody's in deep sorrow about it and regret. Somebody's guilty. I'm hearing I'm hearing somebody being guilty. Okay. Um, yeah, we had a merchant in misfortune. I feel like somebody's about to lose their business. Whatever this business was, is no longer is is built on a fate a false foundation. Well. Let me see. If I can get another message out. <laughs> Just a quick get off message out. Just a quick get off message. Okay, we got um we got hot in this right here. So I feel like death of an ego, death of the ego, pleasure the seekers. Egotistical is one of her. We got an old woman right here. Don't have to be an old woman. It could be a, uh, it could be an old man. So you got an old woman surrounding you, an old man surrounding you that are um somebody's very hard to please, or somebody's um very hard to understand, or somebody don't understand you. Somebody set in their ways. Yeah, look, falseness. Yeah, somebody's setting their ways. 
And I mean, they'll suffer in silence to the death of them. They don't care. It's like they're not going to never tell you that you're right or uh, something like that. They're not going to never tell you that you're right and that they're wrong. Ooh. Okay, we got money right here. And we got doctor right here. And then we get, uh, what's it called? Misfortune again. Mm -hmm. It's something surrounding a doctor, a doctor visa, doctor office. Somebody's it. Somebody's in the doctor. Maybe you're about to find out about a death or something surrounding the death of a family member, or you finna find out something about your family members, a friend that they false. You finna find out something about an old woman this false. Yeah. This old woman could have been your lover. Let's see. Let me clarify this old woman, y'all. Okay, we got somebody that needs to make a decision about an older woman or an older man. Somebody needs to make a decision. Um, it's a decision that needs to be made. Okay, and I see somebody working hard, or I see people see you do, see you working hard um, with, with a recognition. Somebody about to get some type of recognition or some some type of paperwork, or you about to read be reading some type of paperwork. But everybody see you working hard. Everybody see you. I feel like you're not getting recognized or something. But you will, okay? You're not getting recognized, but you will. You feel like somebody holding back money from you or holding something back from you. I feel like you're about to find out about it. Yeah, somebody betrayed you. They backstabbed you. Whoever this person is, you you know them. You know them real good. I feel like you seen it coming. You knew it was coming. Yeah. And somebody holding back money from you. Real sneaky. But you're about to find out about it. Yeah, with the death card, you most definitely about to in the judgment card, you're about to find out about it. Yeah, didn't I say it's a lover or something? Look, that was a different dick when I said lover. Yeah, we got an empress right here. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm most definitely getting somebody lost a child. Somebody dealing with a, a, a lover that's an older woman, you're about to find something out about this person or you already know about this person. You already know something about this person. Yep. The chariot. And then I got the three of coins, so somebody... You you don't want to work with this person. You're not willing to work with this person. I'm hearing no deals. That's what I'm hearing in my head. No deals. With the high priestess right here. And we have the ten of swords. Then, you know, I said that you knew this person was about to betray you, like you seen it coming. Yeah, and the half priestess came right out, like you know about it. You know about this betrayal. You seen it coming, like you were waiting on it, or, you know. Yeah, because if somebody betrayed you. Look, they nine of swords your ass, right? Okay, but you seen it coming. Then they turn right around, because you was expecting it, because, you know, you was the high priest, right? But then they went on ahead and, and ten of swords your ass. They, they stabbed you in the back. They betrayed you. That's the lords of our Lord. We can't get no lord in it. Hmm. Let's see. Why did they betray you? Okay, we got third party. We got reunions here. We got third party. Somebody put you in a third party situation. Hmm. The world card. Yeah, something's com this this cycle is over. Um, something's gonna be worldwide or world known. 
recognition right now. Hmm. Something's gonna be publicly known about a betrayal of something like that. If I see this card one more time, yeah, this 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 betrayal came. This betrayal is about some money. I feel like with the Ace of Coins, somebody betrayed betrayed you for some money. You turned your back on this person. Hmm. Wishful thinking. I don't know why I'm here. Wishful thinking. Hmm. And look, love card. Hmm. Mm. So what I feel like when I hear wishful thinking. I feel like hmm, this person was like wish for thinking like they were wish they like let me see like they were wishing on your downfall and I feel like you you told them wish for thinking like you tried you you wished upon it but it, it didn't happen you know what I'm saying like you never gonna get it <laughs> never gonna get it no you're never gonna get it and before I even picked up this deck. I literally was thinking it in my head. I was like, I want to say it. And now I'm saying it. Like, you're never going to get it. Like, whatever y'all tried to get, you're never going to get it. Now you're suffering in silence because you're never going to get it. Yeah, this person know you were being false. No, you're never going to get it. Okay, let me see how much time we got. Let's get out. Let me do a few angel answers and uh, questions, and then we're gonna close it out, child. I know I already said my condolences to whoever uh, lost the child or going through the process. I do I really do apologize. Okay, we got meditation brain answer. So, whatever it is that you've been asking God for and you want to know, just meditate and it'll give you the clarity and the answers that you need. Okay, something that's coming towards you within the next few months. Okay. And in the near future, some, something's coming towards you. Yeah, something coming towards you, but big happy changes. Okay. Okay, we got somebody's health improving. And whatever somebody trying to do, I just say reconsider. And I just, um, I just put it back, okay? And then I, I think it's not the right time for you. Yeah, I feel like you need to reconsider whatever it is you're trying to do because it's not the right it's not the right time right now. That's a fun battle. Let's get another one. Okay, we got remain positive and there's no need to worry, okay? So whatever you worried about, stop worrying about it. There's no need to worry about it. Remain positive. Trust. And somebody needs to communicate clear. Communicate more clearly. Somebody's not understanding you. You need to communicate more clearly with this person, okay? Okay. So this is y'all, and I want to thank y'all for being here, and I will see you guys later. Bye.